So now in this video, we're coming back to a circuit I did a while ago. So this is an inverting Schmidt trigger. We have a low input uh, right now, below one third of the supply voltage. The output is high right now. We'll look at those voltages uh, coming up. If I turn the uh, trim pot uh, more positive, two thirds of the supply voltage. Now you can see that uh, the output change. The output's actually low. We got more positive. You can start seeing the uh, waveform coming there. So that's the trim pot set all the way up to 6 volts. Now I have to go down to below 2 volts and the output uh, changes. We uh, have uh, right at uh, two -third, uh, 1 third volts, I mean right there. And so there's a low input. We can lower it even more right there. And we go to the output, you can see the output's high. That's as high as it can go right now. This is actually the LMC 555 timer, so without a load drawing current, I can actually get to the supply voltage, whereas most 555 timers cannot do that. It's a CMOS version, which can go rail to rail. So the uh, main thing is though, right now we have a high output, there's the uh, low output, we need the opposite condition, it inverts what we get. So for a high input, we get a low output. So I want to change that. What I'm going to do is just wire up another inverting circuit right there with the uh, 555. So I'm just going to move these LEDs. I got 220 ohms protecting them and they're going to do weird stuff because the input is floating right now. I got pin 2 and pin 6 tied together. Really weak signals cannot throw it off. So right now there's no load at all for this 555 timer because these resistors are, are at a dead end. They don't have LEDs to finish the current path. So what we're going to do is go to the output now of uh, the LMC 555 timer and put it to the input. So I got another white jumper that goes to a pin 2 which is connected to uh, pin number uh, 6. The two pins that uh, look at the voltage. So now we have a high voltage there. Let's uh, move the red jumper and look at the output. Oops wrong side of the red jumper. There we go. We'll look at the output there. So that is high as well as the input. So that's nice. Now this is the NE555 timer. So the output doesn't depend as much on the load. It's actually outputting better than I thought it would. But it's not going to a 6 volts. So in any case, we, uh, we got that. Now I'm going to turn the trim pot to less than a third of uh, the supply voltage and there you can see so we got the hysteresis in the middle it's going to stay where it is but right now we have a uh, low input and a low output up there so now we just have a Schmidt trigger so that was low and uh, this is low I can go all the way to the negative row so if you have an inverting circuit but you don't want an inverting circuit you just run it through another inverting uh, circuit and uh, then when you have a high input, you'll have a high output, and a low input, a low output. So I covered all these topics before, I'm just combining them together now, and uh, so uh, from one feeding to the other. So I'm just going to end it there, keep this video short. Hopefully you still enjoyed. Make sure you click like, subscribe, the bell. I can zoom in a little bit closer so you get a uh, better look at that. But uh, in any case, Click like, subscribe, the bell, uh, donate to Patreon if you can. That would help out a ton. And uh, check out all the links down in the description. I will see you in the next video.